Hey everyone, so um, I have a um, small card to share um, slash please help me video. <laughs> um, my, my mother has a friend that, um, that um, her grandmother had died and um, my mom, because I have this um, big card box that's full of cards for every every occasion except um, sympathy cards. I don't think I I have any sympathy cards. So being the dummy that I am, I'm like, well, I'll make one for you, and I'm the type of person that'll volunteer myself for stuff, and then as soon as I have five seconds to think about it, it's like. Why the heck did you just volunteer for that? So I volunteered to make a card, and I'm not a card maker. And um, it was gone pretty well. Um, but I've, and this happened in the last card I made too. I had made a thank you card for my aunt. Um, and I came across the same problem. So I'm hoping you guys can help me with it, all you card makers out there. Um, so, Bonnie had sent me um, a bunch of these um, die cut uh, or phrases, dies. <laughs> she had sent me a bunch of phrases that were dies. And, um, hold on. And,. They're really awesome, but um, the problem that I'm that I seem to keep having is adhering the words to the actual card, and um, eventually I'll get the word adhered to the card but I've got all these glue marks on the card and it looks so ugly I mean you can't see the glue marks when you're staring straight out, straight at the card but as soon as you tilt it and it catches a shine then you can see all the glue smudges and stuff so um, I might as well become Bonnie's agent seems like I'm always pimping out her channel <laughs> She gives me so much. <laughs> it's like I always end up mentioning her in each one of my videos because every time I make something, um, <laughs> I end up using something she's given me. <laughs> so, um, yes, I'll show you the card. So this is the card that I made. And I'm pretty sure the camera's picking up those glue smudges. So... The very first time I had made a um, a a thank you card, right, and I had tried to use this uh, easy runner, Epic Fail. <laughs> if I had thought two seconds before I tried it, I would have known it was going to be a fail. But yeah, failed. Um, then I tried to use glue stick. I've tried using glue stick. Um, I get all the glue smudges with the glue stick because I'll get a tiny bit on my finger and then touch the card and when I'm trying to squish the, the words down then glue will come out the, the sides of the letters. I've tried using just like a white PVC glue. <sighs> nothing is, um, nothing is working for me. And I'm not sure if there's like really nice cardstock that doesn't have a ridiculous price that has adhesive back or even if um, it would even work using the die cuts on adhesive cardstock. If there was an adhesive cardstock out there, I'm not sure. I don't, I usually don't buy paper unless it's like $4 a pack. <laughs> so, um... I don't know, so I was just wondering if anybody had any, um, 
any tips for me or suggestions on what I should do because as you can tell these words are very skinny and um, it's just been a nightmare trying to adhere them to cards. I think they're all freaking awesome but um, I just don't know how to adhere them properly. So if anybody had any tips or suggestions for me I would be forever grateful. So this is the card that I ended up making though. Um, I was really tempted to try and make it again because of all the glue smudges. But um, I figured the second time around I'm going to end up doing the same thing and still get glue smudges everywhere. So <laughs> This is the card that will be sent. And I couldn't put too much embellishments on it because it's being sent in the mail and I didn't want to use a bubble mailer. My cat's acting like a psycho. Um, so I had to kind of keep it low key. So what I did do is I scallop punched the bottom. And then um, this was a pack of flowers. There wasn't any purple flowers. And it looks more contrasting off the camera. I know it kind of blends in to the background on camera. But it does contrast off the, off the paper a little bit. So this was a, was a pack of flowers. Um, flowers I got at Michael's for 25 cents. I'll just put that one on there. I either had to use red, brown, or green, and my card was purple and red, so. Um, this card stock was just the 25 sheets of, um, I don't know if I... It was one I had bought early in, earlier in the, in the mail. And it just, it's just a, a small Christmas card stock pack. I have two packs of Christmas card stock. Nothing else. So, um, but I figured the red would work. You know, red can be used for anything. And then um, all the lettering and the butterfly. And um, when you open it up, that's what it is. I just did the doily border punch on here. This was glitter card stock. <coughs> My mother had bought this um, pack of cardstock strips because they were in clearance because the glue end um, was breaking. Because she was going to make um, earring cards out of them, but it just, they're too skinny and they didn't work out for her, so she gave them to me. So this is what I ended up using for the lettering and the butterfly and the down here so that's my my sympathy card <clears throat> and seriously if anybody has any suggestions I am all ears because I am desperate every time I get something glued down again something else pops up so I don't know I've been having kind of a rough couple days. I haven't made a video since the last one, obviously. My, uh, I took my dog to the vet and because he had the beginning of what I sus suspected a, a, an ear infection, which he did end up having an ear infection. The yeast in his ears were just beginning to convert to bacteria. So we caught it at the very beginning. And um, the vet wanted to do like a, a super duper cleaning on his ears. So I agreed to that and they took him in. And I swear they shoved so much ear cleaning fluid into his head. Yet they failed to get most of it out. So his um, right ear, they did both ears. But his right ear mainly has been draining ear cleaning solution horribly for two days. And he has been so depressed. He doesn't want to move. Um, you know, he just lays in the chair. The only time he'll get up is to eat when I offer him food. But I've had to drag him out to the bathroom. He's just... I don't know if you've ever encountered a depressed dog. But he's the type of dog that gets really depressed if he feels like crud. And he's been feeling like crud because he's had all this ear cleaning solution in his, in his head, basically, that wasn't um, taken out. So... 
you know, what's coming out of his ears isn't, isn't pus, it's, it's ear cleaning solution. He was at the very start of an ear infection. It hadn't even fully developed yet. So, um, yeah, he's been pretty miserable. And every couple of hours I'm, I end up massaging his ear with, a paper towel and it gets completely saturated with ear cleaning solution and ear cleaning solution has a a certain feeling on your hands when it's drying it kind of makes your hands sticky so um yeah he's been feeling pretty horrible and when my animals are feeling pretty horrible I feel pretty horrible and then somebody's been going through the mailboxes too Joy, joy. I don't know if, um, I haven't found any of my mail in the mud yet, but, um, I've picked up, um, on two separate, separate occasions, I've picked up mail from, um, one of the neighbors I'm friends with and another neighbor I'm not so friends with. And, um, so one of my neighbor's mail is drawing in my kitchen now and I'm going to shove it in his mailbox once it's dry with a note. But, um... So, I've been kind of worried about that, you know. I'm sure it'll be my mail eventually that's going to end up in the mud getting run over repeatedly by cars. So, anyways, I guess that's what I've been up to besides the card. And I've been working on the, the configuration box. I've started, um, oh, I always do that. I think I made one video since my tripod had broken where I didn't do that. Um, I've started doing the crackle. This didn't turn out so well, so it's probably going to be the bottom. But I've started doing the crackle to the lid. And now I have to let the each side air dry after it crackles, so that's taken a while. But, um... Yeah, I guess that's it. I hope everyone's doing okay. Hope people that were not doing okay are doing a little bit better. My sympathy goes out to you. I don't know. I like how it turned out. I didn't have any stamps or I probably would have just done a stamp. But I don't know. Oh, in case you guys didn't know, I have playlists. I made playlists a couple weeks ago and sorted all my videos because... Um, there's been a couple times where I've been referred to other people's channels to learn how to do something and I can't find the video just because there's over like a hundred videos, you know, and nothing sorted out. So I'm like, well, let me just sort out my videos now while I only have 60 odd videos, you know. Um, so just so you guys know, there's, I have playlist made for the Halloween tutorials, Christmas tutorials. I don't even know if I have a Christmas tutorial yet. I think I have one. Yeah, the snowman tea light. Um, and I've got miscellaneous, just crafting. I've got it all separated. So, um, if there was something you guys wanted to find, it should be relatively easy if you just click on the playlist. And I have just discovered today all the comments that were left on my page. Not necessarily on a video, so um, you can't reply to those comments that are left on pages. So, um, thank you to those people who have subscribed and left a comment on my page. I'm sorry I didn't see it till now. YouTube doesn't um, inform you when people leave a, leave a comment on your channel. So, I did read them though. It just won't let me reply to them. But I guess that's it, and, um, like I said, I really could use your help on how to adhere these letters. I'd rather not have to buy adhesive cardstock if they make such a thing. I really don't know. Um, so if there's some magical but simple trick that I just don't know of, I'd love to hear about it. So, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.